the second video of it. Uh, if you hear anything in the background, that's my aircon. That's because it's too hot to be doing anything, and I don't give a shit. But we're gonna be doing a different thing on the charger now. So we're gonna go and do a visor bar. Um, I'm not sure what visor bar I want to do. I guess we'll use this. It says just Buno's pack. Uh, it's just a generic linear pack. So we're gonna grab the front module. Delete this other trash. So, I'm going to go into more depth so you guys can understand it more this time. So, I'm going to actually change the pattern because I personally like changing the pattern on this. So, what we're going to do is we're going to come into here, polygon mode. We're going to deselect every single light. So, this little button here, if you, you can hover over them and it will give it a brief explanation of what it is and what it does. But this one right here, uh, third or fourth on the left, like sixth on the right, whatever. It should say detaches polygon from object. So you're gonna do just select it like that, just like you normally select anything. And hold shift and click your both mouse buttons. And you just go to the next one. Alright. So <clears throat> this means it's already detached. Oh, there's not enough. So that is fine. Well, we just want to go ahead and make sure they're all detached. It's always good to be correct and not wrong. So that's not connect. These are connected. These are connected, and then these. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna change up the way it's gonna flash. So, I just quickly go through and confirm that that all detached. So that's detached. That's detached. Just wanna go through them slowly. I'm used to just looking at a screen dead on. <laughs> so, yep, they all seem to detach. That's good. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to attach them single. So I'm going to go like this, this one to this one, then this. I'm going to select this to the white light, then just keep going over. So now, Trevor, it should look like that. I'm going to do the same thing for the other one. Simple. So now, if you hover over this one, see? Sorry. Now, up here, if you look, if we turn this off. It's not going to look right when you set the color of a corona. So if I set this blue, the red is going to look stupid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually UV map it so it's all blue for this one. Then it's going to be all red for this one. So we'll do this one first. So all you want to do, select like you normally would in front view, whatever. Mapping. So right click, mapping, edit UV. And, this is, and just click OK. Go to the top where it says wherever you're using front, left, blah, blah, blah. You map the material down the bottom. You click what one you're using. So now what we're going to do is, since I said I was going to change this all to red, going to select the blue light like you normally would just move it over as you can see when I'm moving this uh, white box thing my mob <laughs> over you can see the colors changing so that's good there now we want to quickly change this to all blue very simple so we speed through this No, X, your monka. No, your family dislikes you. There you go. Alright, X. Simple. So, now you'll see. They're all different. So, basically it goes on, 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 on. Simple as that. As you can see, it looks good. So, now what I'm going to call this is... I'm just going to call this a misc. So, misc game. We're going to go and quickly make sure the material is right. So, if you see, this looks really shiny. That's, if I'm not correct, it's going to be set to a different... Then, yeah, so it's set to paint one. You never really want something set to paint one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the Buna Lights Mesh and the paint to Interior 2. This little Pac-Man, GTA 5, looks generic. Interior 2. Alright, now we're going to grab the Emissive and put it up here. You'll see a little black line on the side of where it should be. So now it's fine. I'm going to go ahead, select the lights, go create, copy. Then just go and create three copies four copies technically all right right click the first one so you should have four extra you should have five in total one you're not going to worry about right click convert to dummy convert to compound and you should compound it aka alloying it so going great so now that's done so now since we do have the light bar we now know that oh actually we've done one thing wrong we're going to go ahead and we're going to scale it down so let's go ahead and scale it down position it to how I want it to 
as you can tell that it's obviously so much bigger than oh the charger itself <laughs> So, that looks pretty decent. Alright, so we're back. We're going to go ahead, continue doing this. We need a left view. So, you can see the visor bars all the way up here. We're going to pull it up to a good, a good bit. I normally try and position mine as best as possible. So, we're going to put it down. Just so it doesn't go through the glass like that. So now we're gonna go move it up just a tad. And we're gonna move it back just so it's starting to just so the top bar is basically disappeared like that. If that looks good to me in my opinion. Then it's basically on or taking the visor bar or the visors. It's kind of here type of thing. So it looks good like that. The reason you can't see the lights is because the charge is above it. So we move the charge down, you can see the lights. So since we've done that, we'll move this charger above again. So, we're going to set up the dummies. Right. So, since we currently have a light bar on it as well, you want to put different sirens. So, make sure you scale down your dummies again. So, 0 0.015. Should be exactly like this right here. Should I move them? So, since we use 2 and 5 for the sirens of um, the light bar, we're going to use 7 and 8 for the visor so as you can see here mine's up here we're gonna go top view we're gonna move it so we don't want it to come through like this so what I normally will do put mine back about here doesn't come through at all you can tell and we can create a copy of the dummy go here turn off the other dummy and move it over again now you're a Gucci Gucci in the hood. Other than I'm a little stupid to be in the hood. So we want to move this back here. Right, now that's good. So, as you can tell, we turn off this one. It comes up like this. So we're going to go ahead and put this in here. And put this in here. So, as stated prior, we use two and five sirens for the light bar. So we want to call it siren seven. So what I actually kind of confused is I'm going to make this an extra. So let's quickly set that up. So instead of calling it MISC A, we'll call it extra 2 since we're using extra 1 for the light bar. Move your front view, top view. So this is going to be the part of creating collisions. So it's as simple as coming to this up here, this little box up here. We're going to create a box around it. So we're going to try and like match it up as perfect as possible. So we don't want it to be too humongous. Okay. Now we're just going to move it up. That was good. I'm just going to turn pivot off just so it doesn't move it. Alright, that's good. So now we do the simplistic thing of calling it extra 2 and then doing space. Open bracket, cold, and then close bracket. Then make sure you have no LOs on at all. And then we'll click CRO and convert compound. Now this is ready to be thrown up in here. Simple as that. That's how simple it is. Now we're going to do the fun part of doing the reset the parent scaling. So, we're going to select the light bar. Unselect the dummies by holding control and selecting them. Kind of is a differential thing between selecting and deselecting. Yep. So, if you saw, the axis is down here. When I reset its parent, they move to where the dummy is positioned. We're going to turn off pivot. We're going to use scale. And I'm going to scale mine to 0.1. As I said prior. Boom. Now they are very, very tiny like a lot of things on my body so simple as that now we're just going to LO them so go boom since these are already dummies you need you don't need to make them dummies LO them at a one two three you'll get faster as time goes doing this it took me a bit to uh, understand it fully but personal opinion it's so much easier than non other near life so that's as simple as to set up a visor. We're going to put the siren 7 and 8 into here, as you can see. Now we're just going to go throw up extra 2 right here. Make sure it's all saved. Right, it's good. So I'll be back in a minute. We're going to put it in game. Right, so we're now in OpenIV this time instead of actually in game. Make sure you're adding the textures properly. 
in, so it's the generic linear package, so it should be Buno lights and underscore N, put it in. So since it's all alphabetical, B it should be at the top, unless you have anything that says A or numbers. So we want to double check, make sure the light bright divider is there. Yep, as you can tell, the behind it, the lights are working. Great. So now we're going to go ahead and get in game, and we'll be back with you in one moment. Alright, we're in game, we're going to double check now, make sure it's working. Let it load, it just wants a charger. It's going to take slow. So, assets, no, don't care. Okay. Light bar's working. Modification, we've got an extra two. As you can tell, the light's working. So, what I can tell you is the lights I have a weird corona. Is it going to allow me to so it looks like the red is on the blue and the blue is on the red the visor. Very simple fix. We're gonna go ahead and fix that. Car cops. So what we wanna do is we're gonna go to file test car or whatever you call your file. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this 5M development cheat sheet I created when I own my server. So we're gonna grab red. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna open the YFT for the vehicle and I'm gonna turn off the extra two. So I can just see the, um, I guess it's not going to work, great. So red is Siren 8, we know that now. Then we go to the car calls, we want to scroll down to Siren 8. Right here, colour, change that to that. So now that's going to be red, and we want to go to Siren 7, is blue. Yep. Now we're getting game, and I'll be back in a minute. Alright, so we're in game. So remember we changed it to make the light look better. So, let's go look. Boom. Now the lights are actually properly set up. It's very smooth. And as good as I can. As good as it can be, I guess. Simple as that. So. Right. That's as simple as to make stuff. So, next video, I'll probably add like a rear deck light for the rear or something along the lines of that. Um, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and like. And, uh, peace out.